टुडे टॉपिक इज वाई थ्री फेस ए सी मोटर आर यूज इन दी ट्रेन नाउ डेज हियर आई हैव सोन टेक्नोलॉजी इम्प्रूवमेंट विथ टाइम इन इलेक्ट्रिक टैंक इंजन ओल्डन डेज डी सी मोटर वर बींग यूज आफ्टर वर्ल्ड अराउंड ईयर टू थाउजेंड इन इंडिया थ्री फेस ए सी मोटर ए लॉन्ग विथ जी टी ओ बेस्ड कंट्रोल सिस्टम केम एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम नाउ डेज थ्री फेस ए सी मोटर एंड आई जी बी टी बेस्ड कंट्रोल सिस्टम आर यूज दिस ए सी मोटर ए लॉन्ग विद आई जी बी टी बेस्ड कंट्रोल आर गिविंग एडवांटेज ओल्डन डेज दिस आई जी बी टी बेस्ड कंट्रोल सिस्टम वर नॉट देयर फर्स्ट एडवांटेज इज थ्री फेस ए सी मोटर एंड आई जी बी टी बेस्ड वी एफ टी वी वी एफ टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोवाइड्स बेटर स्पीड कंट्रोल एंड बेटर एक्सेलरेशन कंट्रोल इन द इंजन वी एफ डी मीन्स वेरिएबल फ्रिक्वेंसी ड्राइव वेन दिस कंट्रोल हैज वेरिएबल वोल्टेज ऑल्सो सो वी कॉल वेरिएबल वोल्टेज वेरिएबल फ्रिक्वेंसी now second advantage three phase ac motor and igbt based technology provides unity power factor and very less harmonics now third advantage ac motor used in the train are scurrile cage induction ac motor it is easier to maintain this kind of motor than DC motor. Then there will not be any mechanical contacts like brushes. Now fourth advantage: AC motors are lighter than DC motors for the equivalent power. Now fifth advantage: more effective regenerative braking because of more effective braking. less wear and tear of the breaker system will be there more energy saving will be there and fast money payback this payback is due to more saving in the energy in the saving of the electricity bill now i will explain what is the payback period payback period suppose money invested is rupees 100 and after investing rupees 100 we save rupees 5 per month in our electricity bill so to recover full 100 rupees it will take 100 by 5 equal to 20 months in 20 month we will recover full 100 rupees so this is called the payback period sixth advantage is IGBT based control with three phase AC induction motor gives better performance for a given weight and volume. Seventh advantage is AC motor in the train with IGBT based control provides better tractive fault and higher adhesion level. I will try to explain these two points. Here I have shown a train. This is engine, this is rail, and these are wheels. When we have a car, there will be tires over this wheel, and road will be rough. So when we run the motor or engine of the car, car will start moving. But in the train, there is no tire over this wheel, so it is not so easy. that we run the motor and train will start moving i will explain you now here this is rail this is wheel gears and motor when motor is running then first power transfer to gears then wheel and a tractive force is generated in the wheel we try to rotate this wheel it will not move because for movement rail also is required 
then between wheel and rail there will be fraction and there will be weight like this this together form adhesion now destructive force and adhesion together destructive force is this and adhesion is in between wheel and rail this and this together make the train to move here more the utilization of this fraction is fraction between this and this train motion will be better in the case of ac motor along with igbt based control system utilization of this fraction is much better here i have given equation and definition of addition variable addition variable is the ability of the engine to convert the available fraction into the usable fraction at the wheel and rail interface here you can see two trains running at the same speed but here wheel is moving faster than this so these wheels are slipping here this slip is due to tractive part more than addition limit here again both trains are moving with the same speed but one wheel of this train is moving faster so this wheel is slipping on the rail this is due to tractive part more than addition limit only for this wheel in this case both train are moving with the same speed but the one wheel of this train is not moving properly this is speed is less this is sliding on the rail this happens if we apply the brake on the train this is due to braking effort more than addition limit we have to correct the torque level here this is tractive part and this is speed this is tractive part with speed and this is adhesion limit this tractive part should be as high as possible but should be less than this limit otherwise wheel will start slipping so in the case of ac motor along with igbt based control we can keep this effort very high level but just below at initial limit so utilization of this effort is much more this is slip control concept between rail and wheel this is time this is torque train speed is shown using red color and this speed is increasing with time similarly wheel speed is shown using blue color that also is increasing with time wheel speed and train speed should be equal which is shown up to here at this point wheel speed becomes more than train speed in this case wheel will start slipping on the rail this difference is measured using control system and value of torque applied is reduced until slip becomes zero or speed of wheel and train becomes equal at that time torque value is brought again to normal condition this kind of control works better with ac motor and igbt based control system air advantage is this one i have explained just now better tractive effort and higher addition level by slip and slide control ninth advantage is better tractive effort and higher addition level by different power to different axle or bogies i will try to explain this now during movement of the train loading or weight distribution is not uniform on all axles or wheels so power requirement or task requirement is different for different 
wheels. In this diagram, I have shown that two different control and two different motors are driving wheels. So depending on the requirement, we can adjust different torque level or different wheel such that they do not slip. This problem becomes more when train is moving on a slope or train is just starting. Now some big train will have more than one engine. Similarly, metro train will have more than one engine. Engine is distributed in many bogies. So suppose this is one engine and this is another engine. In such cases, torque and power requirement will be different for this engine and this engine. Then using control, we can set different value here and here. This means power will be different for different bogies or engines. This way, power and tractive force available can be used more properly in case of AC motors along with IGBT based control system. Today we will close now.